A significant change is coming to European travel this autumn. From November 10th, non-European Union travelers entering the Schengen area will face stricter border controls as the new Entry Exit System, or EES, becomes operational. The EES is a long-awaited passport system that will require non-EU citizens, including British tourists, to scan their passports at self-service kiosks when entering and leaving the Schengen area. This system aims to improve security and reduce overstays, but it has also raised concerns about potential delays at border crossings. EU Home Affairs Commissioner Ulva Johansson has confirmed that the system is in its final testing phase, with airports, train stations and other operators preparing for its implementation. The EES will collect biometric data, including facial scans and fingerprints, and record entry and exit times. This will make it much more difficult for visitors to overstay the 90 days in 180 rule. The new system is expected to counter irregular migration and enhance security. Johansson stated that it will make it harder for criminals, terrorists or spies to use fake passports, thanks to the biometric identification process. However, the implementation of the EES has not been without controversy. British government agencies and travel industry representatives have warned of potential chaos at border crossings, particularly at busy points like Dover and Gibraltar. Travelers are advised to allow extra time for border checks when planning their trips. To address these concerns, a former UK transport minister has explained that the scheme will have a six-month soft launch to address any initial problems. This phased approach aims to minimize disruption and iron out inevitable wrinkles in the system. The EES is just one part of a broader overhaul of border controls in the European Union. From 2025, travelers will also need to apply for the European Travel Information and Authorization System, or ETIAS, before their trip. This additional permission to enter the Schengen zone will cost seven euros and is likely to add to processing times at borders. The implementation of these new systems has raised particular concerns in Gibraltar, which relies heavily on cross-border workers. The territory is dependent on 15,000 Spain-based employees crossing the border daily, and there are fears that the new system could significantly impact this fluid movement. As Europe prepares for these significant changes to its border control systems, travelers and border communities alike are bracing for the impact. While the EES and ATIAS aim to enhance security and streamline border processes in the long term, their initial implementation may present challenges for both travelers and border authorities. As November 10th approaches, all eyes will be on Europe's borders to see how smoothly this new system can be integrated into the complex world of international travel.